3M Vac Peel in Place Dressing makes applying 3M Vac therapy easier for providers across care settings and skill levels. With an innovative all in one design, Vac Peel in Place Dressing minimizes the time and training needed to provide effective negative pressure wound therapy by reducing the application process to just a few quick steps with none of the cutting or shaping associated with traditional foam dressings. 3M Vac Peel in Place Dressing is intended to be used without sizing the drape border for easy application. Assess the wound carefully for any undermining or tunneling. Also, assess the wound dimensions and depth of the wound. To choose the appropriate size and ensure complete coverage, make certain the dressing extends beyond the wound's edges. Vac Peel in Place Dressing has a protective interface layer, allowing placement of the foam over the wound and surrounding intact skin. Vac Peel in Place Dressing comes in three sizes that should only be used for specific wound depths. Ensure the wound is clean. Open the sterile packaging. Remove the two liners to expose the adhesive. Place the dressing onto the wound with the pre-cut hole facing up. The hole should be in the desired location of the 3M Sensitrack pad. Leave at least five centimeters of drape border for sealing. Assess the dressing placement. The dressing can be repositioned upon initial placement. Smooth any wrinkles or creases. Press down on the border of the drape to ensure a good seal. Remove the handling bars and pat down to establish an occlusive seal. Remove both backing layers and apply the Sensatrack pad over the pre-cut hole in the dressing. Apply gentle pressure on the central disc and outer skirt to ensure complete adhesion. Pull back on the blue tab to remove the pad stabilization layer. Attach the tubing to the appropriate 3M Vac therapy unit and start therapy. The therapy unit should indicate a good seal. Once therapy is activated, the dressing will conform to the wound and deliver an effective seal. When the therapy has been completed and the dressing disconnected from the unit, gently remove it from the wound. Regardless of treatment modality, minor bleeding may be observed. The wound bed may show some proteinaceous or fibrinous materials. Clean the wound according to the clinician's discretion. If the dressing adheres to the wound, consider introducing sterile water or normal saline to the dressing.